Ladies and gentlemen, I give you salmon. Today I'm showing you how to make an ultra simple yet fabulously delicious Mediterranean marinade that not only works extremely well with salmon, but literally on almost any other fish in the world. So basically, I'm giving you one recipe that works with 30,000 different species in the world. Now, this isn't good value for money, which is immediately going to make you want to subscribe to my channel. Then I don't know what is. You're welcome. Broadly speaking, there are two different types of salmon in this world. Atlantic salmon, which we've got here, Salmo salar, and its cousin, the Pacific salmon, that belongs to the genus of Oncorhynchus, like coho salmon, king salmon, pink salmon, and the like. In terms of their appearance, the difference is, or the, respectively, the orange color and the lovely marbling of the Atlantic salmon, while the Pacific species has a deep and red color and is generally leaner. But hold on, Andre, you're saying marbling? That's fat, that's no good. Au contraire, mon frère. Salmon is full of essential omega-3 fatty acids, which are vital for the functioning of your eye cells and especially for those cells up here, for your brain. And perhaps I should be eating more salmon. Nah, that ship has sailed. Now, sadly, wild stocks of Atlantic salmon have come under considerable pressure and uh, are widely regarded as threatened. This is why most of the Atlantic salmon products that we get to buy are farmed. Now, is farmed fish good or bad? I understand that this is a very, 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 very contentious topic and shall leave this question for another video. But what can you and I do when purchasing fish? What is our contribution towards achieving sustainability? Try to go for certified products such as those issued by the Aquaculture Stewardship Council or short ASC. This guarantees sustainability, the absence of antibiotics and that there's a low number of fish swimming happily around their enclosures which in turn leads to lower stress levels. When making your purchase, make sure that the color is vibrant, that the fish is firm to the touch, that there are no fishy smells and especially no black spots. But most importantly, make sure that it has been filleted by yours truly at the Finn and Flounder Fishmongers on London's Broadway Market. Are you enjoying this video? Great, and I can tell you what you are going to enjoy just as much. Arnaud Van Arm's fish cookery books, Poissonnerie, which I'm using as the foundation for this fish cookery channel. Our babies have now just come out of hibernation and I was thinking, why not cook them, huh? Might as well. One oven baked and the other one roasted in the pan. What do you say? Shall we do it? We'll do it.
Yeah, I'll ask them, but I'm sure they know. Dear friends, I've just been reminded to kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a like or leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about this episode, what requires improvement in your opinion. And uh, don't forget to check out last week's episode where I grilled a lobster with its own coral butter. And now let's move on to the pièce de résistance. Exciting. Listen to this. Oh, this is like playing the violin, only better. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's perfectly pink. Mm -hmm. Usually at this point I should just uh, continue talking and making stuff up as the outro fades us out, but... Uh, mm. Okay, great. See you next week. I'm off to doing the dishes. Bye-bye.